Integrated development environments provide many specialized features. However, these features often have inconsistent behaviors and no way to preview their effects. We present our standalone source code editor Inline, which implements an innovative approach to representing textual changes called code portals. Inline utilizes these code portals to control and preview a variety of the editor features in a uniform way. To understand the concept of portals, imagine a scenario in which we want to perform some changes to different parts of a code base. Here, we want to add a similar safety check in two related methods. In order to save us from switching back and forth between both code locations, we could use copy and paste to bridge the gap and manage the resulting code clones manually. Inline, however, allows us to create a portal at one code location, showing the contents of a different code location. These contents are fully editable, with changes to one portal being reflected to all other instances. Border and background colors represent connected segments. Also, ghost cursors and selections are displayed to indicate linked insert positions. Code portals are created non-destructively and can be closed at any time, which, among other use cases, allows us to collect and modify a set of related code fragments in one place. Instead of creating them manually, code portals can also serve as a powerful interface to editor features. Say, for example, we're writing code to open a file. Unfortunately, we cannot remember the correct function parameters. Inline allows us to search for other usages of the function fopen and presents its findings as a list of portals. Using these examples, we can quickly complete our function call. We also discover that one search result contains a fitting error handling. We adjust the portal size and location to match our needs, merge the portal into our code, and perform some necessary adjustments. While we're at it, we also replace the error handling of this third result by our new extended version without having to navigate to the respective code location. Code portals can be used in a variety of features. In this example, we have a functional program containing a definition of the factorial function and a call with a concrete argument. When selecting an identifier, we can replace it with its definition by opening a code portal. This can be used to quickly inspect the code or to perform manual function inlining. Note that the original alignment of this if-then-else expression is maintained in all instances. We achieve this without changing any indentation by moving the whole editing area. Instead of replacing just the identifier, we can also inline the function application itself. Here, all the occurrences of the function parameter n are replaced with code portals containing the original argument. Again, all editing operations are immediately reflected across all portals. By inlining the recursive call to factorial, we can further inspect the recursion and work on our function definition from multiple directions. Editor features based on portals can easily be adjusted to provide live previews. In this example, we have an HTML file containing several images. Let's say we want to add a path prefix to all images at once. This is a typical use case for regular expressions. However, getting regular expressions right is often difficult. Our editor inline allows users to write regular expressions in Perl syntax right within the code and displays a live preview of the results. Here, we match all file names containing the suffix jpeg and replace them with a new path. The replacement string contains a reference to a subpattern, which is recursively replaced with a portal to the matching file name in all occurrences. The replacement string itself is also visible in all locations and can be modified simultaneously. Code portals can be nesting and overlapping in arbitrary ways. This prevents us from using the common linear or tree-based data structures found in other editors. Instead, we use a graph-based structure where each node represents a continuous code location. All higher-level operations are mapped to a small set of basic operations. In order to create a new portal, we split the surrounding nodes and replace the now isolated subgraph with the portal. Repeating this, the graph can become quite complex. Applying a portal works by reinstantiating its contents, clearing its hidden subgraph, and reinserting the remaining subgraph into the surrounding nodes. Finally, closing a portal replaces its nodes by its subgraph. For more details and access to our inline editor, please check our project homepage. Thank you.